Major school districts in the state of Texas are starting to defy Governor Abbott's latest ruling on requiring masks in schools. KRHD reporter Rebecca Fiedler joins us now to see what kids and their parents can expect in Brazos County. As several major metropolitan public school districts in Texas decided to instate mask mandates despite the governor's orders, today I spoke with some local school districts to discuss their own plans for the fall semester. Dallas, Austin, and San Antonio ISDs have implemented mask mandates over the course of the week, despite Governor Greg Abbott's executive order not to do so. The Brazos Valley's two largest school districts, Bryan and College Station ISDs, have made the decision to continue following Abbott's direction and not enforce a mask policy. We are going to continue to work very closely with our fellow education agencies around the Brazos Valley our local health department here in Brazos County, and also listen to the guidance from the Texas Education Agency and the Department of State Health Services. While neither district will require students or staff to wear masks, both have stated that the practice is encouraged. Each noted that their administration are aware of the stance that larger cities are taking, but that deviation from the governor's orders is not in the cards for the local area. Everyone's looking and, and, and they know what other folks are doing. Uh, but the reality of the situation is that College Station ISD, um, we're, we're gonna follow the, the governor's uh, executive order. It gets into a very slippery slope when the governor's issued an executive order for the state and told a school district, you cannot do something. And then the school district says, we're not gonna follow what the governor's saying. The example we're setting for our, our students, we believe that it's important to continue to follow the governor's executive order. Teachers and administrators will face many challenges this year related to COVID. College Station and Bryan ISD are unable to offer virtual learning for any students who are homesick or quarantining, as the state government did not provide funding for schools to implement virtual learning options. They will allow up to 20 days of remote conferencing, uh, but the stipulations around it make it to where it really isn't feasible. The districts will continue to promote other safety precautions such as hand washing. Students and staff will be instructed to self-screen for COVID-19 symptoms before coming to school. And both districts will require an individual to isolate at home if they test positive for COVID-19. Still, determining all proper procedures when dealing with positive COVID cases or potential exposure to the coronavirus, well, it's tricky to navigate. The TEA is saying that Contact tracing is the responsibility of your local health authority. They're also saying that a school district should notify those in close contact of a positive COVID case when the school district knows about it. So it's kind of a mixed message right there. As always, we'll keep you updated as the school year progresses. Reporting in Brazos County, Rebecca Fiedler, KRHD News.